I will? It's Ned. How's work? Good. Yeah, I'm still wearing it. Well, I took the warlock pants off, but I'm still wearing the wig. Because I look radiant, that's why. Never, William. I am never taking the remains of this costume off. In time, my friend, molting will occur, and I'll naturally shed this Halloween skin, revealing beneath a wondrous new Halloween body, stronger, faster, and even better equipped to celebrate this most awesome time of year. Yeah, well, uh, yeah I am full of sugar, yeah, a little bit. Hmm? Yes, I am still sitting in the basement with my jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, but you know what? I'm starting to see why uh, you're supposed to keep them outside. They're ripe. Yeah, man, they're starting to smell funky. And not good funky like James Brown funky, but bad funky like James Brown circa Rocky IV funky. Yes, I'm talking about living in America. I know it was a huge hit. I know it won a Grammy. Dude, I know Weird Al covered it. I didn't call to discuss the rise and fall of James Brown. Well, I wanted to run a few trick-or-treating ideas past you that I've been working on for next year. I know, I know, I know you're busy. I'll just hit you with my top ideas. 50. Don't hang up, don't hang up. Three, three or four ideas. Okay, so my house to candy ratio was pretty good this year with an average of two pieces of candy per house thanks largely to copious amounts of sucking up after receiving the first piece. Oh, what a lovely home you have. Did you make these decorations yourself? <gasps> Are those white pumpkins in place of the traditional orange? Somebody get Martha Stewart on the phone. But I think I can do better this year. Well, okay, you ready for this? Costume and accent changes. Dude, I hit a house, trick or treat, lovely home, Martha Stewart, then run around the corner, change costumes, then back to the same house. Good evening, trick or treat, lovely home, Martha Stewart. Another costume change, uh, trick or treat, Martha Stewart. Dude, four or five costume changes, one block of houses. I could be neck deep in candy corn for a year. What do you think? Well, your thinking is flawed. Okay, idea number two, and this one I'm especially proud of, Will. I go out trick-or-treating a few days after Halloween during school hours. No, listen, it's brilliant. I'll have zero competition. I'll have the element of surprise on my side. And no, man, that's where you're wrong. Houses will still have candy. Houses with kids who have been trick-or-treating will have lots of candy. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Dude, all parents complain about after Halloween is that their kids won't stop eating candy. I show up, kids are in school, candy is undefended, and parents are all too happy to offload a little of the cavity stash. It's practically a public service. Again, your thinking is flawed, and you're a monster. Okay, next idea. Uh, you know the Jehovah's Witnesses? Hello? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked today's episode. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, you can do so by pressing the big fat old button up there. And if you want to watch other episodes, you can click on any of the thumbnails there, there, there. And, oh, thanks as always to Cat Hub uh, for hosting our show. And, and, and guys, really, I just wanted to say a quick thank you so, so much uh, for your amazing and continued support. We're, we're getting very close to a really cool milestone. Um, we've, we've been on the air for almost a year now here. And, and, and we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, and, and you guys have just been so incredible, so thank you. From everybody uh, uh, at our, our weird little show, thank you, thank you so, so much. 